Addition Carry over method What is this new method called carry over method? In all the above examples, both two digit and three digit, you would have noticed that any sum of two numbers does fall only between numbers 0 to 9. Hence, the sum of any column falls within its own column and we do not have to look for any other column. But this is an artificial solution. In real life, the sum of two or three numbers in a single column can be in two digits. What is to be done to the second digit? Here is where the carry over method comes into the picture. Let us take a simple example. Example 1. Add 8 plus 3. It equals 11. In this case, the 1's column gives a sum of 11. That is 1, 10 and 1, 1. So, the 1, 10 is carried over to its rightful place, which is 10. As there is no other number in 10's column, the 1 in 10's column is brought to the sum and hence the sum is 11. Example 2. Add 58 plus 38. Step 1. Step 2a. Step 2b. Notice in step 2a, the sum of 1's column 8 plus 8 came to 16, which is 1 tens and 6 ones. Hence, the 1 ten is carried over to the tens place in step 2b. So effectively, now the tens column is not 5 plus 3, but 6 plus 3. So now we can proceed to the next step. Step 3. The same method has to be followed in 3 digit addition also, as the principle is the same. For example, in 781 plus 139. Example 3. Add 781 plus 139. Step 1. Step 2A. Step 2B. Step 3. So the sum is 920. In the above example, we had two instances of carry over method. Hence, study example 3 very carefully. After the above examples, it would be clear to all students the importance of this carry over method in addition. For more entertainment, log on and subscribe to www.youtube.com/slash Venus Kids World.